Next up, we have Dr. Neera Gupta. She's an entrepreneur, author, a TV host, MC, and an actress in Singapore, based in Singapore, a multifaceted artist. So, Dr. Neera Gupta, the stage is yours. We would love to hear your raw story. I'm a person who lives her life to the fullest. So when you say your glass is half full and you say your glass is half empty, I say my glass is overflowing. To me, life is a celebration. In fact, I'm planning the biggest party of my life. Think about magnificence, grandeur, mixed with revelry. This party is going to be epic. And everyone I know from everywhere in the world is invited to this party. It'll be Great Gatsby meets Mardi Gras. Champagne towers, disco balls, fog lights, celebrity DJs, international artists, foil curtains, canopies served by butlers, so good looking that you wouldn't even want to eat them. Cocktails made by bartenders just like Tom Cruise. Fire dancers, you name it and it will be there. But let's get back to how I live my life to the fullest. I have been asked this question several times. And today, for the first time on international stage, I'm going to share with you my three secrets. Number one, I live my life without regrets. Now I know many of you will be rolling your eyes saying, really, no regrets at all? Well, sure, I have felt bad about being hungover the next day after a big night or eating a whole tub of ice cream. But these are small instances in the larger scheme of things. I am talking about the bigger decisions of life. Did you know that 90% people die with regret? Think about it, 90%. Now think about which side of the graph do you want to be on? I will give you some examples from my own life. I have heard a lot of people say, oh, I wish I didn't love. Yet, we've also heard, it is better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. Sure, the first heartbreak was excruciating. I cried for days and days and days, vowed, never to fall in love again. But then, think about the first time you fell in love. The first kiss, those butterflies in the stomach, when he looked at me from across the room, those exchanging of Hallmark cards, and making up after those cute fights. Sure, it didn't last. But do I regret falling in love? Heck no. I had kids very late in life. And to anyone who has young kids, knows how hard and exhausting it is. Especially when you have them at my age. It is exhausting both physically and mentally. 
But what if I had kids earlier in life? I might have missed out on fulfilling other dreams. But mostly, I wouldn't have had the kids I have today. And as much as they annoy me sometimes, I wouldn't give them up for anyone else in this world. Remember, regrets will never let you move on. So stop thinking about the past and start living in your present. People go through many jobs throughout their careers. But did you know that most people have a single profession in their lifetime? I have gone from being a dentist to working in corporate to becoming an entrepreneur, running an events company, and now a publishing house. As you heard earlier, I'm also a professional MC, a TV host, an actress, and an Amazon number one bestseller. How did I do it? I take risks. So the second secret of living your life to the fullest is do not be afraid of taking risks. Even if it means reinventing yourself over and over and over again. Think about the last time you took a risk. Sure, it's unsettling, it's scary, and sometimes even lonely. Now think about not taking that risk. I have moved countries so many times People thought I was a fugitive. I have been a trailing spouse. I had to give up my home, my family, my friends, my career. Most of all, I had to give up my comfort zone. And we all know how hard that is. But if I think about not taking those risks, What would my life be? I'm grateful that I took those risks because with that, I have lived a very enriched life filled with new experiences and amazing adventures. And again, if I didn't take those, I would have missed out on all of those. So next time you have to take a decision, think about these things. Do not be afraid of taking risks. Because you know what? People are going to say what they're going to say. You have to do what feels right. My third secret of living life to the fullest is to do what brings you joy. Did you know that dentists have one of the highest suicide rates in the world? I gave up dentistry not because of that, but because I did not enjoy it. So when I had the opportunity, without hesitating, I accepted 
the first role I got in a corporate. Working as a telesales executive for a conferencing company. Sure, I didn't understand the Aussie accent. I probably still don't. People were rude. They banged down the phone at me. Yet, I loved my job. I learned so much from it. Earned great commissions. And was promoted to be a manager within less than a year. I also realized that if I don't take this second step, I'm going to be stuck here. So I took on an MBA course to improve my business acumen. From there, I got another job and another job. And what a glorious corporate career I had, spanning across regions and markets. And when that didn't feel right anymore, I took another leap of faith and became an entrepreneur. Now maybe you can't just leave your day job and start living your dreams yet. But you can work towards it and also do things that bring you joy. Now I'll give you an example of someone I know who works in an insurance company. A job is a job to her. But she told me that she enjoys helping other young women in her office who also look up to her for advice and guidance on both personal and professional matters. So I said to her, does your company have a formal mentorship program? To that, she replied, no, it doesn't. Then I suggested that she speaks with the decision makers within her organization to set up something formal that would benefit everyone across the board. Not only did her company agree to it, they even asked her to spearhead the program. With that, she was not only helping the young females in her office, but also gave an opportunity to everyone else who also wanted to be part of this program, both mentors and mentees. It also gave her, gave her the opportunity to find her true calling. And today, she is studying to be a certified life coach and fulfilling her lifelong dream of writing a book. So who says you can't do things that you enjoy? Being of service to other people brings immense joy and meaning to your life. For me, it has been helping children by raising funds for Singapore Children's Society, by collecting donations to help our migrant workers through its raining raincoats. And helping the women from our diverse and thriving community who otherwise do not have a voice by setting up an initiative called My Voice where women can be heard, seen and understood. Which is the same reason why my partner and I set up a publishing house in the midst of pandemic without even knowing anything about the business. You would ask, why? Because we couldn't find a single publisher that shared the same vision and passion as us of bringing together inspiring stories of everyday people 
who have moved from living ordinary lives to becoming extraordinary achievers. And today, I am proud and humbled to say that we are one of the very few women-led international publishing houses who have created more than 200 Amazon number one bestseller authors. We have changed lives forever, creating a lasting impact on our readers from across the world. Ultimately, leading a purposeful life can bring you joy. So like me, if you too want to live your life to the fullest, stop living with regrets. Start taking risks. Do what brings you joy. Find out what you're passionate about. Be yourself. Be authentic. And think about the legacy that you want to leave behind. And by the way, remember that party I was telling you about in the beginning? Well, that party is my end of life party. No, I'm not dying, not just yet. But I figured if I was going to live my life to the fullest, I was going to die to the fullest too. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening. My name is Neera Gupta, Chief Visionary Officer at Global Influences Publishing House, living my life to the fullest. Take care.